Hi, this is Tropical Plants at 53 degrees north. So today we're working with Tredescantia zebrina. And the question that occurred to me is, will it root in anything other than water and multi-purpose compost? We all know it roots really easily in those two media. So will it root really easily in anything else? Does it really make any difference? Does it matter? Is one better than the other? That's what we intend to find out in this video. So let's jump in. And we are in. Okay, so you can see we've already got it mostly set up. So what I've got here, two gravel trays, no holes in the bottom because I don't really care about drainage. I'm not intending to keep them in here for very long. And we have some various media, things that I just had lying about, things that I expect other people might have lying about too. So I'll just take you through them. We've got gravel, we've got coir. Now this is washed coir. It's quite a good quality coir. We've got pure perlite. If it have had some vermiculite, because in my experience they do root really easily in vermiculite pity i've not got any we've got some moist sphagnum moss we've got some charcoal we've got some pure coarse bark and we've got some coconut husk and i'm just going to do one in uh just as a control i'll add a tiny little bit of water into the bottom i'll explain that in a second so you can see we've got our beautiful tredescantia zebrina cuttings I've tried to be as scientific as possible, but obviously you just can't be in this environment. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to prepare these so that they're all roughly the same length. They're all tip cuttings from the end of stems. Unfortunately, some of them have like longer areas in between the nodes. That's just the way, uh, it's just what we had available. There's nothing I can do about that. And I'm going to lay them on the surface like that. I'm not going to dip them in like you might do with another cutting of a different plant because these plants root as they go horizontally and they'll root at any node. So providing I've got some nodes in contact with the media and I'm then going to dribble a little bit of water right along Along the length of the cutting and we'll leave it a couple of weeks and we'll see what actually happens does it make any difference now my own feeling is it will probably root better in the media that keep a little bit of moisture so for instance the sphagnum moss perlite i think will probably keep a little bit of moisture in there we'll see anyway what happens it's just a case of come back in two weeks and have a look at them how will we judge which one's been the best well we'll have a look we'll pull them out and we'll see if any of them have like particularly long roots compared to the rest of them again my own feeling is there's not going to be much difference but you never know do you until you try it might be fun to have a little look and see what happens and it'll certainly be a short video anyway for once where we have our cuttings all nicely laid out they're not all absolutely identical it was the best i could do we've even got the one there just in the air doing nothing in particular and i'm going to dribble a little bit of water along them all and we'll see it in a couple of weeks see what happens okay we are back it is two weeks later and we'll have a look at what's happened so i'll take you down to this very unscientific experiment i have to say and see if we can change the camera angle so you can see exactly what's going on so we've not had a great deal of growth i mean i wouldn't expect it at this time of year and if you can see perlite dotted about the place i'll just show you all the perlite that's because i've got a new grow light on and in the process of putting it up i actually dropped the thing and it smashed all over everything and uh, and there are chance to properly clean it up anyway that's another story so as i say very unscientific experiment but just a little bit of fun just to see what happens just to see if there is any actual difference so the way i'm going to judge this is based on how long the roots are so i'm not talking about top growth here the whole point of this was to see whether there was any difference in what they actually rooted in. So let's see if there's any difference. So I've not, I've no idea what's going to happen here. This might be a really short, boring video. It might be boring anyway, but we'll see anyway. Let's have a go. So we'll start with right to left, I think, for some reason. I don't know why. Maybe because this control one. Let's have a look at this one. So we have got roots. So we've got some very small roots, but they're definite roots. And they are, if I look at those carefully, they're not, they're not the same as the roots that just come out into the air. So obviously the little bit of water that I trickled on there has caused those roots to come. And we've got it on two nodes there. So that was in nothing except a little drop of water. And we know, of course, that they do root in water. So that's nothing unexpected. So let's move along. So this is the coconut husk. Let's have a look at this one. 
what have we got here? So we have put it down on there a little bit longer. So we've got this root here, which is about two centimeters long. Another one there, another one there. So yeah, coconut husk, we know it works in. So we could say that at the moment, that one is winning. If I can call it winning, that one's coming second. Let's move along a bit further. So this one is just pure bark, orchid bark. Ooh, now look at that, orchid bark. So you can see the area where it was a little bit wet. I mean, I've only watered these a couple of times in the last couple of weeks, just really it trickled a tiny little bit along the stem. So you can see that one has even attached itself to a piece of orchid bark there quite a long route there okay so so far i think we've got them in the order so i think so far the bark was probably the best the coconut husk the second and then just in uh, with a little bit of water the third now i'm not really expecting this to work very well in the pure charcoal but let's have a look well it did put some roots out but certainly it's not gone anywhere near as long as the other two so for the purposes of our little experiment here i mean it's certainly not conclusive is it but i would say that the one that's going into the charcoal hasn't really done a great deal compared to the bark and the coconut husk at the moment the bark is winning if we want to call it winning okay let's move along to the next one so the next one is the moist moss so this is sphagnum moss long fibered sphagnum moss and i expected this one to do particularly well oh let's oh gosh i can't even pull it up <laughs> and yeah we were right there look at that so this one's done so well it's even got hold of most of the media <laughs> that is that is two weeks worth and, it, and it's actually gone all the way along so you can see that practically every node there has rooted so there is something that maybe is a surprise to you. I don't think so, really. I mean, we know that they are reacting to moisture. These roots are coming out and searching for moisture. So at the moment, that's doing the best. So let's have a look at the perlite. Now, I know from experience, perlite is usually pretty good. Yeah, that's a pretty good one, isn't it? We've got a, a good result there, but not as good as the sphagnum moss. I wonder if anybody actually roots their cuttings in pure sphagnum moss. I've never heard of anybody rooting to the scanty in sphagnum moss, but from now on, this might be the thing to go for. Moving along to the coir, have a look at that. Yeah, we've got some roots there. Nothing too spectacular, but it does work. Shows that that's a, an okay medium to use. And finally, this is just pure gravel. Let's have a look at this. Well, I know again from experience that it will root in gravel as well. You can see the, I mean, obviously the gravel's not gonna hold any moisture, but you can see that we've got three sections where it has started to stimulate those roots and come out there. So I think if we've got any kind of conclusions from this very unscientific experiment is that if you are going to root some Tredescantia and you want to do it really quickly and end up with massive roots, Sphagnum Moss is the one to go for. So maybe a close second would be the Perlite. I, ought tend, I tend to use Perlite um, just because, you know, it's nice and airy, it's nice and light and uh, it just seems to be a, a pretty good medium. I found vermiculite works really well as well. But for me anyway, I think maybe in future, I'll do it in sphagnum moss. You can see quite clearly that the result is pretty conclusive there. That, that is definitely a good thing. Now, obviously, as time goes on, that sphagnum moss has not got any nutrition in it. So it's not going to help the plant. You'd have to transplant it, but maybe to start with, a little bit of sphagnum and away you go. Okay, so I've pulled the sphagnum moss off the cutting that was in the sphagnum and you can see really, really clearly there, look how well that has rooted. Look at the roots that's formed at every single node. We've got some really long roots. I mean, that is a clear winner in this little unscientific experiment. The next one, of course, is the perlite. The rest have kind of put them all roughly the same kind of a, a level really we know that it roots in practically anything that will retain some moisture for a little bit of time but if you're really after some quick results 
then perlite is a good choice but sphagnum moss is the winner by a country mile that is the one that i would definitely go for i know people like to stick them these things in water but if you have got some sphagnum moss lying about and you want to do it super duper quick and you want to end up with a really good result with some very strong looking roots in a short length of time sphagnum is the one to go for well that's it for today give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed that don't forget to subscribe and i'll see you on the next one bye